right, what's up you guys and as always welcome back to another of course Wi-Fi battle versus 64 seconds and uh, yeah we'll see if this game lasts longer than that bad jokes ah look at that look at that that's a sand team <laughs> I'm like yeah that looks not annoying at all um, <laughs> damn this is gonna be rough isn't it um, I see two things that could work uh, but basically it is all about um, like Ron says really good um, no matter what um, will struggle versus he proud on most Pokemons do and um, I don't know I think I think I kind of got this I'm gonna lead off with Osma as I think there are two really good leads here and one of them that comes to mind is uh, Skomri you know, with Torkoal, so I think can Hippowdo push me, right? Yeah, so with that in mind, uh, we, we clearly are bringing um, Leafeon first, as that starts to force out Hippowdon. So there we go. And my opponent, of course, is four seconds, as always. Um, good luck, have fun, don't lean off with Serora, that's kind of scary. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm worried. There are clearly Pokemon here that synergize well, and while there are a glaring weakness to water, I don't believe Leafeon, or I mean um, Lantern, is helping all that much with that. Leaves off with a power on. I think that was a really safe switch in. And, uh, I mean, we're not going to stay in. Um, right? Actually, the knockoff play is kind of alright. Thinking about it, it does allow Skarmory to come in, but we do turn off leftovers, which is going to be super helpful. So, hello, Skarmory. I've seen you before in this town, and Knockoff will do nothing but no more leftovers. So he has two ways he can set up here. Consider he had a pound on. I think spikes are the easier overall play. And uh, I guess I didn't ask my hair. I don't believe there are too many down, unless he has a whirlwind. I don't believe this is a too crazy of a play. Spikes, yeah. So it is absolutely a stagger team. He could have whirlwind. Most of them do. And uh, his easiest play here would have been going for. Um, um, I think he's gonna go for another spikes, right? He could fear the potential flame forward, thinking I'm special. But um, oh, he goes first. He withdraws. All right, cool. Uh, to to Anatar. So this is not all bad. As we have Drain Punch and we have Liquidation, the Drain Punch is where we're gonna try to get our recovery back. And granted that I would speed with quick, quick rear. We get nothing. Thank you, Slowbro. Wonderful Pokemon. Really been enjoying using you lately. Um, fuck. That'd be nice if that work. Uh, <laughs> right, sitting in Ronsay. Cause I think we kind of force it out with a close combat. And his switchings aren't like that impressive. I think Weezing comes in maybe. So when I finally get slow road to potentially sweep the whole team, then you know, no, no, no quick draw. Right, switches out. I think that's fair. Weezing is such an easy Pokemon to bring in. And the um, thing is here, he could will with me. I think that would have been the toughest part to access to. But besides that, we had the special defense boost. So we are kind of good. And I really hope that Sand ends here. Come on, we need damage. We need all of it. Fantastic. So here comes the Willow. Miss? Nah, of course not. Of course not. But, let's see. He has Strange Team potentially. And, uh... Yeah, we sold stats again then. I think he switches out to the power and I try to preserve Weezing. 
towards Skarmory. Yeah, with draws. I think that's the right play. Rings next grill. I really hope the sand ends here. <laughs> because if not, then uh, yay. Please tell me you made a mistake. Doesn't feel like it, no. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I'm still good, but I don't have a fair switch into this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for close combat, and we're gonna sack this Pokemon, of course. Um, and then I think the sand ends, which is phenomenal. Life Orb, good. Sands will subside. So we're not in the best position, but at the same time, I think we have merits. Um, it's just that I just can't set up with everything I have got. So bring in Virgil to take the receal damage and. Uh, I think either Skarmory or more likely he pound on comes in. Or he stays in. Like an absolute mad lad. We'll see. Or I'm just faster. Yeah, he switches out at least. We get the double right. Or in theory wrong, of course. But um still He brings in Tyranitar here, right? <laughs> I'm like, there, there is only one play. <laughs> hmm. Because I need to get a lot of damage onto... Uh, onto that. Like, Sarah Aura is no problem. Weezing is in range. Skarmory I can probably deal with eventually. Like, only x I feel is like an annoyance for real. So... Flash Cannon. Right, he stays in. What a mad lad. <laughs> he was gonna sack wheezing. Let's see, earthquakes. Cool. Yeah, you know what I was doing there. So I guess we're sacking it or trying to take you out then. You're clearly not sacking this, but more likely wheezing comes in. Let's see, Skarmory. I do think that's alright. I'll take any shape I can get on this guy. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Going for that one more time. I think Weezing comes in this time. No, nope, Sack Skarmory. Huh. That's kind of up there. Then again, of course, X-Real is super safe. Um. I mean, I think it dies to rocks anyway. So we're a sphere here in case it gets greedy. Damn. No more sandstorm, which is great. I'm gonna send in Virgil and um, I 
and I do believe Weezing is to play. I go for knockoff. Yeah, precisely. Two Weezing. Yeah, there we go. It's normal recovery, but uh, we need to knock you out somehow. Gonna send a looming. I don't believe uh, I will gain anything from looming this game anyway. Anyway, so the thing is, uh, like, what does he carry? Like, sludge bomb is given. Strange steam, of course. And then it's basically what? What are the fillers? Thunderbolts. Ha! Cool. Neither of us was expecting that. Right. Go for an agility. Because I don't believe he likes the idea of switching in Tyranitar to this. No, switching Excadrill. So, uh, right, right. One hydro pump coming right up. Like Tyranitar is switching, right? Yeah, switches out for sure. You need a speed. You need a speed, buddy. Connect to higher pump, nice. Didn't knock him out though. Alright, we got dazzling gleam here. I think we are in range. He, he is sacking it no matter what, so come on. Right, right. <laughs> Please. Excel. I wish I had sex. Double the speed versus another with double the speed is never pleasant. But uh, damn it! Damn it! Go harder pump again. I mean. It's so bad. I really, really wish I went for another agility, knowing he would switch out. Because that would have probably not sealed the game, but uh, it would have been it would have been up there. Um as we're not like I'm leveling here, but I have a play in mind, and it's whether or not I can take an iron head. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, we clutched it, but we're still dead. Oh, it's so rough. Basically, my idea was that um, you know what? I feel I I, I win with or I lose with some dignity, but my idea was surviving it, then set in the sand, and then I didn't even kill though. I didn't even kill. Is a sword bit weaker? Maybe, maybe. So it didn't matter. It didn't matter. So my opponent here, GG, really, really fun game. Uh, <laughs> well, had I gone for another of those, um, really, I should have just do, done this, but I'm just, I, I knew it wouldn't have worked. Um, so what is where my opponent did play really well. But basically, my idea was that, um, well, first and foremost, oh, I survived that earthquake. Fuck this game. Oh, no. That's actually kind of rough, thinking about it. That would have meant there would be no drawback for actually... Ah, uh, <laughs> that sucks. Anyway, <laughs> my idea was that either, like, I clearly couldn't have a um, sack playthrough 
with um, with Lumi. I should definitely consider the way he was switching back and forth. I should absolutely have gone for another agility. There was no drawback to it. Um, though then again, I was not in a two-hit kill range against um, Hippowder. So whether or not Hippowder would have killed me, which it most likely would have. Uh, but besides that, um, my idea here was of course that Leaf Blade was gonna leave it with some Wiggle Room HP so I wouldn't be died to Sandstorm. Because if so, if I throw it enough Wiggle Room, I would have just Sack Blade Torkoal to get the sun up, then try to push him down with Solar Blade. Uh, but as far as this game went, that was kind of fun. <laughs> I enjoyed this. So that's my opponent, 64 seconds, thank you for the game. Awesome match, buddy. Everyone who is watching, thank you for doing just so. Have a great day, everyone.